remember how dark it was before electricity. I remember the dark nights uh, when they used lanterns to travel by. There were lightning bulbs back then. And at certain times of year, I mean, the whole field would be lit with lightning bulbs. For lighting purposes, we had to rely on kerosene lamp and candles. And as you know, candles was a very dangerous thing because a candle burned down to a certain length and it may catch your house on fire. You had to read with a lamp. You cooked on a wood stove. It was just a different world. crew, I believe, consisted of about three men. When it came, it was celebration everywhere. And of course, it changed completely the way that we lived. The thing I remember most, every year we had to go to the annual co-op meeting, and it was big stuff. You did not miss that meeting. It was because the electric company had given us something that was so valuable. When we got electricity, it was like leaving the Stone Age. If we had to go back to the old time way, life would be miserable. Life would be miserable. Palmetto Electric has a special meaning uh, for me since I'm a second generation employee of Palmetto Electric. My father, Archie Davis, started to work with Palmetto in 1946. When I couldn't go to school, I'd be sick, I'd go to work with him. And he retired in 1987. So he had a 41-year career with Palmetto. I started to work with Palmetto in, in 1988. Palmetto Electric was formed in August of 1940. And we connected our first customer in, in October of 1941, and the original mission of Palmetto Electric was to electrify rural America. When Palmetto Electric first brought power to the island back in 1950, the board voted to do so in order to serve about 30 families. So that was quite a commitment. Uh, frankly, it was a time that the investor-owned utilities could not justify bringing service over there, and that's why the co-op ended up serving Hilton Head Island. We put in so much infrastructure, it cost us a fortune, and we weren't getting any return for it. We almost, we almost lost the co-op. We almost went, went bankrupt because we had to go so far so quick with no return. And when things started building in, then we already had the infrastructure structure there, so, you know, we were, we were riding free then. The families on Hilton Head were so glad to see electricity come. They readily signed up all the right of way. Of course, there was no bridge to Hilton Head back in the, the mid-50s at that point in time. They were in, in the process of trying to get a, a bridge built to Hilton Head. For a long time, everything that went to Hilton Head had to go over there by barge, everything, drive the truck line trucks and everything, put them on a barge and carry them on the island and build the lines and everything because there wasn't no bridge over there. Well, the co-op model is that our customers own the co-op. They're not just customers, they're owners and members. And that was instilled in me from the first day that I came to work for Palmetto Electric. Palmetto has become a, a part of the fabric of this community. Tom Upshaw, the former CEO at Palmetto Electric, it was his idea to, to start uh, Operation Roundup. We started Operation Roundup by an idea that I had early one morning waking and worrying about the, the neighboring investor-owned utility, making these inroads into our service territory, and trying to come up a way that we can endear ourselves to our consumers just a little bit more. 
We generate over $300,000 annually through that program. We provided the funding to put in a heliport up at the Hampton Hospital. We have uh, given money to Second Helpings. It's really a heartwarming experience to be able to see that and, and be involved in doing something so positive to the community. Certainly, we've had just tremendous advancements in, in technology uh, over the years. When I, I first started here, we were reading the meters on Hilton Head, but the rest of the system, the members read their own meters and, and submitted them. It's amazing that now we can read meters remotely, and we can read meters over the power line, and we call it uh, AMR. We can actually remotely control and monitor all of our substation equipment from, from the office. The cooperatives were formed back in the late 30s and early 40s. And at that time, our primary source of generation was from hydro. The dams up at Santee Cooper, up around Monk's Corner, that provided the, uh, the initial power that uh, the co-ops were able to serve their members with. Approximately 70% of the energy in, in South Carolina is, is generated from coal. Roughly another 30% is generated from natural gas and nuclear. And now we're starting to see a, a big push for nuclear. So our mix is much more diversified than it used to be. And of course, renewable energy is a big focus right now of the cooperatives and utilities across the country. Uh, we participate in something called green power. For the most part, the, the renewable energy that is put back onto the grid that's actually used right now is, is the landfill gas and the solar. We're very proud of the fact that we sell more green power than any electric cooperative in South Carolina. And all of those additional dollars that we generate through green power go back into the creation, the production of additional green power. Palmetto just means so much to the whole community, even people that are not served by Palmetto. I think the biggest influence would, would be electricity. If we didn't have electricity, we would have had a much less development beginning. The most important thing I've ever done in my life was going on the board of Palmetto Electric. What we have achieved has been just wonderful. 75 years ago, we were an electric utility, but today we're so much more than that. Today, it's really more about helping people. And our board of directors, every day that they meet, they are committed to doing what's right. It's about uh, making life better for our members. I'm committed to that. I know all 141 employees that we have is committed to that. That's who we are. We are co-op. We're a Palmetto Electric Cooperative. And I'm convinced that that's what we do, is make life better for our members. People don't know what old people had to do to survive. You didn't have no heat. You get into bed and you'd have so many quilts on you, you couldn't turn over. And now, keep your house so warm, you can go in there and lay down and go to sleep with just a blanket over you.